This is a general overview on how to get started on the saxophone. <laughs> So in order to play it that fast, your saxophone journey has to start from the basic notes. So you need to know where the notes are located on the saxophone, which means you need to know where the B is, where the A is, where the G is, and so on. You also need to know how to produce a good sound, so what to do with your mouth. The embouchure works like this, your upper teeth have to be on the mouthpiece and then your bottom lip has to be rolled in onto your bottom teeth. As in producing the letter V, you know when you say V, 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 that's roughly, roughly the good amount of lip that you want when you play. And also you have to remember that you don't have to blow a lot, you have to, you have to stay relaxed and blow effortlessly. Some people think that you have to blow more than what you need. You also need to know the difference between pulse and rhythm. Pulse, pulsation, heartbeat, beat, they're all the same thing. They mean that whether you take a piece from India, from Australia, from China, from Italy, from the US, normally the piece will have a constant pulsation. Americano, 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 Sienta Megito Papa. Constant pulsation. One, two, three, four. That never changes. Then on top of that, you have instruments or singers uh, performing melodies, which are rhythm plus notes. So check it out. One, two, three, four. This is my pulse. Two, three, four. Ba ba do ba 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 do ba da ba do ba ba. What I'm saying is some kind of rhythm, but if you notice, the pulse is still the same. Treble clef, also called G clef. The fancy drawing of the treble clef actually starts on the second line, so it's telling you, hey, my friend, look, I'm giving you the starting point. I'm giving, I'm telling you that the second line is a G. So what you need to do in order to learn how to read is you, you count the other notes according to your G. So you have a G, then you go to the next space, which becomes an A, then the next line is a B. So notes go in spaces and in lines, whether they go up or they go down. If you want to take up the saxophone, you can join our introduction to saxophone course, where you will learn all this and even more. We do have these courses running throughout the year, so check the link in the description for specific dates and location. We have only five students per class, so grab your seat while you can. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope this little video has helped you understanding and getting a general overview on the first steps to take on the saxophone. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so to see more videos like this. Any ideas or new content, always welcome. Um, have a great day!